Hi, this is Brandon Spillane from ThirstSim.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the band resisted lateral bound. This is a great exercise to develop power in the frontal plane. Um, and it's an advanced exercise variation of your normal lateral bound. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna want some kind of resistance band, ideally something not super strong, that way you can still apply some force, but you are gonna want something that provides at least a little bit of resistance. So the mini band works well for me. Just to make sure you understand how powerful your athlete is and how strong they are. That'll help you dictate a band. Uh, I would just say pick the lighter one when in doubt. Um, then what you gotta do, I, per, I chose to choke it to the rack here, um, but obviously you can have a training partner or a coach hold it for you as well. You're gonna take the band and you're gonna put it around your waist. Get a little bit of tension on it if you're doing it by yourself or you have somebody holding it, just make sure it's not completely lax here. It's a little bit of uh, tension. Then what you're gonna do, whatever way the band is pulling you, you're gonna start from that leg. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw ourselves sideways, do our best to stick our landing so we can get some hip stability uh, from this as well. I'm gonna jump as far as I can. And then just walk back to the start position. And really try to get as far as you can as you jump. And then obviously you're gonna do both sides. When it comes to programming an exercise like this, Usually four, five, six reps on each side for anywhere from three to five sets is a good thing you wanna put uh, from a volume perspective. The other thing is make sure your athletes have lateral bounds, some good hip stability. They understand they got some plyometric training behind their belts and then you can start implementing an exercise like this to really work on that power piece. Um, I really like exercises like this more so for like in season where we're really trying to get some good quality um, plyometric work in and make it relatively challenging so that way when the season comes, we can and kind of pull back on some of this stuff and do some stuff that have a little less ground contacts and not as much uh, strain on the body. But again, super easy to set up. You can do it just about anywhere as long as you got a way to tie a band to. Um, so you don't even need a coach for this one and you can really do it about anywhere. And I would say anytime you do this exercise, if you can super set with anything that's also gonna work side to side from an agility or speed perspective, you're gonna get even more from it because then you're gonna be able to feel that band resisted load and then be able to benefit from it um, by not having it on there when you go to do your drill. So if you got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.